San Francisco taking on the developers behind the city's sinking skyscraper. The city claims the developers broke the law, hiding the problems from potential home buyers. Good evening, I'm Alan Martin. And I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. The Millennium Tower is leaning and has sunk 16 inches over the last eight years. While the city is now taking the developer to court, KPX 5's Jessica Flores reports the developer says this is all the city's fault. The Millennium Tower has been called the Leaning Tower of San Francisco. And now the city attorney says it's both leaning and sinking and that the developer knew about it before the units even hit the market. Frank Jerrigan and Andrew Falk bought their Millennium Tower apartment for $4 million. But they say as their marble test shows, it's leaning. The marble illustrated it quite dramatically. The marble starts in one direction then rolls back. Now the San Francisco city attorney, Dennis Herrera, is suing the developer. Buyer beware doesn't cut it here. Herrera says the developer knew about the problem as early as 2008, then went on and sold units. The 58-story building has now tilted two inches and sunk 16 inches. Yet, they went ahead and sold condominiums for a handsome profit without telling the buyers about the situation even though they were legally required to disclose it. The developer says the building is safe and that they complied with all laws. Millennium Partners blames the problem on the Transbay Joint Powers Authority, saying the transit center being built next door is making the soil weak. In a statement, the developer says in part, it is unfortunate that Mr. Herrera, who is also legal counsel for TJPA, has chosen to take the focus off finding a fix for the building and is instead attempting to divert attention for the real culprit here, a government agency. This lawsuit is actually a response to residents suing the city and others. In this cross-complaint, the city is going after the developer for the money. In San Francisco, Jessica Flores, KPIX 5.